<laughs> Morning. Starting over here. A little overcast today. Super nice out though. Starting over here on the 98 Olds. Not sure what year it is though. 49.50, somewhere in there. Got a 55 four door and you got a 55 two door. And you got a convertible Chevelle. Which I feel like I definitely could be wrong, but I don't see too many convertible 68, 69 Chevelles. And I don't know, you guys tell me, is this a 69? Is this a 69 68 Chevelle? Good looking car. A little rat rod next to it. Lots of people cruising around. Donuts, coffee. You know the drill. A little early. We got Buddy's car over here first. I like the uh, torque thrust wheels that Buddy has on his car. Clean. I like the uh, I like the polished lip that he has, and like the I don't know what you would call it the. I guess not polished lip on the inside. His car is a manual. They're standing on my tippy toe. Joel goes like this. He says he's 6'3. I like the color of his car. You got a son's car. His is also a manual. Interesting. I didn't realize his car was a manual too. I like the steering wheel. I'll wait till the end. Last night it was cold. Oh, they have the exact same steering wheel. I didn't realize that. Oh, I fell asleep last night watching the news. You know what? They might have the exact same crate motor. Because he just recently, I know Michael just recently, Michael, his son, just recently did his motor. Um, they just recently replaced the motor in. His 55, which is this, the four-door. I don't know if it's the exact same motor that's in Buddy's car, which is this car right here. I don't know if they're the exact same motor. We'll have to ask when we see them. I think it's cool they have the same tilt column, though, and the same steering wheel. That's cool. When you replace the motor, I'm sorry to interrupt you guys. When you replace the motor in Michael's car, is it the exact same motor that's in your car? No, it's, mine's 383. Oh, okay. It's got more horsepower. <laughs> it reminds me of it all the time. You got hurt a little bit? No. <laughs> but I put it in, so. You, we put that it counts. in. That counts. We put it in. I didn't realize until I walked by that you guys have the exact same tilt column and steering wheel, too. Yeah. So I did it. <laughs> you know, yeah, the, it's just the best one, man. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, I'm, I put it on three of mine. I know it works, so let's put that on his. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, as he keeps writing checks, man. Duh. <laughs> and and the rear end we put in the other day, too. And they're the same. They're kind of, they're, they're, com they're melding into the same, like, uh, the parts the parts that work or the parts that break on your car that you right. figure out work yeah don't buy that again yeah right. the, what works on your car kind of melds into the, his car the right the part about Michael's car that I hate the most this his, his, his doors the doors closed tight I have to slam by and beat on oh really <laughs> that's funny 
Yeah, I didn't realize that his was a manual also like your car. Yeah, a Muncie four-speed. Did did his... It was three, it was on, three the tree. on the tree. Oh, it was three on the tree. Yeah. Put a four-speed in. When you put the motor in, you changed it. Changed it like about a couple of months five ago. months before we did the motor. Oh, okay. We drove it around with the 283 for a while. And then after going to Irwindale... You got spanked at Irwindale right at <laughs> 28 second, 8 mile. I had to say something about the, uh, the horsepower for sure. <laughs> Did you plan on doing changing it to a four speed, or did you do that? Did you decide to do oh, that yeah. after you did the motor? Yeah, right. No, when I, you bought I, it. I wanted to do the four speed up right Oh, that. Okay, got it. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> do you the motor. do you yeah. plan on doing um, like AC and stuff too, or are you kind of just like over that stuff? I wanted. He's not to, old enough for AC. Ah. <laughs> I kind of just I'm gonna suck it up for now. You know? Yeah, he's too young. He don't need AC. Yeah. Yeah, that's just a, a creature comfort you don't need right now. Yeah. Yeah. Is there any other things that you want to do in the future that you don't have yet? Brakes. Yeah, brakes. That's it. I mean, we got the parts. We just need the time to do it. Yeah. We got the master cylinder. We got the disc set up. Spindles. Everything. Is it drums yeah, front and back now? Four drums, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, got it. I didn't realize you guys had the same wheels. Also, those, those, <laughs> those are off are of this. this. Oh, they're they're, they're they your old wheels. Yeah. Those are, <laughs> <laughs> those were put on this car in 77. That's funny. Those are old when they still made wheels in America. It says right <laughs> on the inside of made in the USA. Mine say made in China. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Only the older parts made in the 60s and the 70s were made here probably. All the good stuff was made in the 60s. All the good stuff. <laughs> That's very true. I got a 55 Chevy I've had for like 25 years. <laughs> a yellow one front tire. When I, got, when I got it, the front bumper was pretty chrome. My dad's got a few things that I've done to it. Mm -hmm. But you know what? I bought it about four. I, I really like the color of his car too because it like it looks like monochromatic almost because of the different. It's not. I want to say sand marks, but they're kind of like scuff marks. Or is it? Yeah, but is it just that it's like an oil based paint or not oil based? But I guess what is it? Just the old faded paint. Old feet, yeah. Looks legit, man. Yeah. I ask him all the time, why don't you take a buffer and buff it? No, oh, I like it like that. Yeah. You you definitely could buff it out, but it, it looks kind of cool oh, yeah. like that. It's, I think. it's probably 40 years old Somewhere or something. Around. Yeah. I mean, my paint's like 30 years old. It's got 50 yeah. falling off yeah, everywhere. Black. Yeah, I mean, no no paint's perfect, obviously, but it's... It's you still got to do. It's cool though. All the window felts. Just oh, like, oh, okay, yeah. It's like it's a yeah. It really, yeah, it looks dude. like a two door. Yeah, 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 the the really lines are so tight on it. Yeah. Got to keep the stock glass though, because that's the yeah. the cool. The front windshield's got to go. Yeah, it's just destroyed. Oh, from oh, for the wipers. Yeah, it is, huh? It's got. It's got some. It's got some good grooves in it, doesn't it? Yeah, the felt. Looks nice inside though. I love this. I love the the dual benches. I love dual benches. Personally, I'm a dual bench fanatic. Personally. <laughs> On a hard top, this is about seven inches long. The back window comes to here, and, the whole, and, the, and it's an inch short. It takes different flat. Like right here. That's what he was saying about the column. We'll go back in here. Oops. Oh, we had the thing. Sorry about that. Depending on your taste, if you like a four door or a two door, some people like four doors better, some people like two doors better. Depending on what you like better. And in some tires have a and rebuild over at JNS. Pretty much everything rewires the whole car, everything is done. It's got a Ozzy split model lead. They hold up better. Yeah, that was 
Ja. Alrighty, let's keep cruising. Let me know what you guys want to take a look at. Cool Dodge truck right here. Got a modern Hemi in it too. Really awesome. This Fairline right here is really cool. When it pulled in, I uh, dropped my jaw because of the sheer size of the back meat. And the setup of the rear end. Get over here and get a better look from the middle. Wow. That's the business end right there. Beautiful car. Wow. Morning. Sorry about that. I'll be right here. This thing's beautiful. Is this your car? This guy sure got some meat on the back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. 427. Yeah. I have a friend who's a fairly guy. Fiberglass hood. The gentleman that comes here all the time? Uh, he doesn't come here all the time. Oh, okay. Him and, uh, him and another guy, they his friends were sort of like was racing in the 60s. They figured out how he could put the top with a little white tire in the back. Uh huh. All the springs and everything inside, and change all the sheet metal in the trophy. Yeah, for that. I love it. It's free and it's big. Yeah, this is a pretty amazing example. You want to get the rear tire off? What's happening? Whoa, almost died. Quite, quite nice. Trimmer's fury in the full Is it the. Brown, like right behind that bug? Uh, right close to there, but that's not the car. Oh. Oh, it's just the looking for you. oh okay. Cool. I'll go, I'll go check it out right now. Thank you. Good morning, good morning. How the whole world watches me. <laughs> I'm amazed too. <laughs> Mike's rolling in. Mike's making some good noise. This is a beautiful car. See the meat on the back of this thing? Oh, wow. Yeah, I was talking to the guy one time and I said, so you want to get the tire off, you got to knock the shackle pins out? And he said, yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, the it's this thing means business for sure. Let's go check out that Fury. All right, let's go check out the Fury before that bad boy leaves. Tom said there's a Fury. ponging around. I can't for some reason see any comments. I don't know why. So if you're commenting, I highly apologize. It's not showing any comments. I don't know why. Wow. Wow, 
this is really nice. Every time we go back there, you know, like, still run, and I've been back there, you know, with her, you know, so this car is really good. So I know it. Beautiful Fury. Right. All conversations yeah. stop when we walk in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Check out the strangers. Who are these people? Yeah, yeah. What are you doing here? Right. Wow. That, that reminds me of uh, one of my trips. When, this is yeah. I was still in the Marines. It was like 1972. And I was stationed up to I am really glad that Tom told us to come over here and look at this. Anyway, so I had to, I had to take my, uh, I had a toolbox, you know, travel toolbox. And uh, so I take, you know, the wheels already off, and I had a Good morning. Is this your car? Yeah. Next what year Fury is it? It's a saw me with wow. My car it doesn't. It looks like oh. brand new. It's well. It's a, it's a survivor car. Uh, it's got thirty-eight thousand original miles on it. Wow. Original paint, mostly original interior. Wow. And, uh, yeah, it's a three sixty-five street wedge car, number match and all that. And um, I'm friends with the, almost the original owner. Wow. So we've got history on it. So, nice little car. That's crazy. It goes good, drives like shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's really funny. That's kind of true for probably a lot of the original Mopar cars, right? It, they kind of they're not they're not necessarily perfect, right? No, they're not very nice. That's funny. Later, I got real original, and the, the guy who I bought it from uh, did a lot of day two. You know, he, he had these in high school, kind of knew the right things to do too. So this is kind of a day two, you know, high school hot rod kind of thing. I guess. That's funny. I'm not old enough to know better. How, how long have you had this car? Um, I felt so he's me off. Okay. Did you kind of go out like, hey, I want something that's super original that looks like it just rolled up the showroom yeah, floor? I like, I like neat things. I go to slide. And, uh, I, I know I'm friends with the guy, so I, you know, it's been for sale for a while. And, okay. You know, I finally kind of we made a deal. Yeah, I had to have it. Yeah. It's very, very pretty. Did you, were you looking at other things before you found this car? Um, I got a few. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, okay. On the spindle. Yeah. This is always, I you know, I've always known it. It's uh, it's set on the circle in orange for a long time, you know, in the showroom. And, you know, oh, okay. And, uh, you know, and I, I know the guy, so I, I've had a, this is my second no, time. No, no, but if it's perfect, then you do, right? I mean, after the whole and do these come in a manual and an automatic yeah. for these years? Yeah, they, they did? Yeah, they did. Yeah. So they were but I lost automatic. the full Okay. And I noticed that on the interior, they still had the push button there. Is that something? So, they would have had... Oh, okay. I'm looking over there. They would have had a push button here. Oh, okay. What's the, the push button on the other side that I'm looking that I'm seeing on the dash? That's all the heater. Oh, the heater stuff. Keep going. Got it. And there was a couple of Wow. I mean, the interior is just amazing. Um, it's just crazy. Do these have those like pull-up door handles on the inside too? Yeah, they're 
Al-Qaeda. Oh yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> those are always so cool. I thought they look like yeah. like ejector handles or something. <laughs> those are so cool. And they did. Yeah. One of them had a guitar. The car. <laughs> and wow. And he was a pretty good musician. Do you plan on keeping this for a while? Do you plan on keep? Yeah. Oh man. Wow. But I, did I heard you telling somebody that the tires yeah. are like super old on it too. Yeah, you know, it's, it's been in that showroom. So yeah. I, I think probably 20 year old tires. Yeah. 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 It's it's awesome. <laughs> it, was, it was fun drive down here. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't have to deal with it. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. It's amazing. Beautiful car. What's your name, by the way? I'm Dan. Dan, I'm Steven. Dan, I'm Steve. Nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. Yeah. I had to come over. I had to come over, like, you know, my. My Mopar, my <laughs> Mopar snitch here, Tom. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. I mean, the paint. It, First time here. Yeah. It looks like so. Didn't think I'd seen it before. Yeah, I had to ask. How did you find out about here? Oh, here. Yeah. I, I grew up on the corner. Oh, okay, here, perfect. So here cool. Since the '80s. <laughs> That's cool. That's awesome. I mean, it's, it looks like it just got pushed off the showroom right now. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah it is. It's yeah, it's cool. It's really nice. And I love these because it's not like, you know, it's not as much as like a Charger or, a, you know, a Challenger where somebody's like, they're so crazy about them, you know what I mean? Yeah, there's an old, the B body. Yeah. The bee bodies are, you know, rare these days. I don't think there's a lot of guys who are into them as much. Personally, I like these more because I think they look cooler. Yeah. These and like uh, the the Belvedere would be fall into this category, right? Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. There's kind of a '65, you know, badass model of it down on the end there. Randy brought the. Yeah. Super Do you know Randy? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he, he brings that car once in a while, and whenever he drives by with the race gas smell, I've, yep. I've interviewed him a couple times for that car, too, and he's, he's cool. I like him. He's a character. He's a good guy. He also has that power wagon, too. Yeah, but that's, that's a cool car, too. Yeah, yeah, he's a cool guy. Awesome. Well, it was super nice to meet you. Yeah. Beautiful car. Yeah, I'm... This this thing's really nice. I love the color too. It's like a root beer kind of. This is awesome, man. Beautiful, <laughs> beautiful car. Thirty something original, thirty thousand original something miles. Holy wow! Another Mopar over here. If you're into the Mopar stuff, this LS powered Camaro. That's really nice. And again, I apologize that for some reason this morning it is not showing any comments um, on the live stream. So whatever you guys are saying, I am not seeing. Really nice Firebird. Prodigy Garage. Four twenty eight Firebird. Man, that's nice. Really nice. I love that. That hood, uh, optional hood gauge. That's so cool. Man, there's a lot of really cool stuff here this morning. I love his car too. Put it off, cage, 
Ah, he bit me. Oh. You can see the floorboard. Not messing around. It's a beautiful V dubs this morning. They're looking at Paula too. Sir, could you please not sit on this car? <laughs> it's going, man. How you doing, man? Nice to see you. <laughs> You're like, wait, this is my car. <laughs> I almost had you go in there for a second. Maverick fan? Uh, no, I don't. I don't even really know what a Maverick is. Really. Yes, you do. It's Not like really. the P Pinto competitor. Yeah, he thought it was a Pinto. Oh, it, it's it's. I'm like, that's no Pinto, man. It's it's similar. Come on. It's like, <laughs> it's like the it's like what they were making to compete with the Pinto. Yeah. But it's it's cooler than a Pinto. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't blow up as much. That's a cool international. Tony, there's a there's an international over here, bro. Morning. Morning. How you guys doing? Good. How are you? Good. A lot of people today. Yeah, it's a lot of cool stuff this morning. Oh yeah. Right. Stop this and do some individual stuff. 